Hello everyone, so today's topic is going to be how to get rich in um, DDO. Um, so first of all, I mean, I, I should warn you, I am no magician, so I mean, watching this video will not give you thousands of uh, astral shards and millions of platinum in a day. Uh, however, it will give you a better idea how the economy works in uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online, and possibly some ideas how to make more money. Um, as most um, Indian players are already experienced, uh, with these concepts, this this video is probably more oriented towards um, uh, newer players or you know people that just hit level um, twenty and are now wondering how they can uh, um, get richer. So the the first thing to understand is that, that there are two types of uh, currencies: um, platinum, which is similar to gold in other MMOs, and which can only we, you can only carry uh, four point three million uh, per character and that is acquired by selling in-game loots to vendors. Uh, then we have Astral Shards, which can be bought from the DDO store. Uh, and while Platinum is used in-game to buy consumables, such as scrolls or potions, uh, Astral Shards can be used to purchase um, guild um, airships, uh, or to participate in um, the daily gold or silver rolls. Um, or um, I guess you can repair uh, your worn items during a quest. Um, so yeah, that's uh, for shards. Uh, so as there are two types of uh, different currencies, there are also two types of uh, auction houses. Uh, the regular auction house where you sell and buy unbound items for platinum, and the short exchange where you trade for other shards, and you can sell items that are bound to character on equip. Uh, so that is that's a pretty nice uh, feature. Uh, so all of that is nice, yeah, but it still doesn't tell you how to make uh, more money. Uh, so the basic concept is that well, that you need to understand is that you always have to start with um, the um, initial need and not the uh, finality. And actually, that that's funny because it that applies as well in real life. I mean, you're you're not going to buy the um, latest uh, Apple's iPhone if all you need is a device to just call with. Uh, so it's the same, I mean, in, in DDO and um, when you have that in mind you just need to figure out what people in the game want to buy. And at this time it is mostly ingredients such as the ones from um, the Fire Peaks and Death Realm raids. Um, so that would be Shadow and Fire Scales and I guess uh, um, Dwarven Ingots. And also random generated items, for example, like uh, health plus 10, belt of dodge plus 10%, or um, create a convalescent braces of pyring, which do not drop in the game anymore. Um, but also epic items, such as the ones that drop from haunted halls, and finally things that can be acquired in the DDO store. Um, you know, we can cite Otto's boxes, um, stones of experience, augments, raid bypasses, etc. The bad thing at this time, though, and uh, I'm just going to show you quickly, um, is that there's been a bug laying around, and uh, some of these items that I just mentioned, like um, uh, the ingots that drop in the two new raids, uh, well, people have been duplicating them, so they're not worth a lot right now. So, I mean, if you wanted to farm and make money, I would probably just go for um, epic items. Um, such as the ones in ha haunted halls, um, and you know, just try to run as much stuff as possible. And um, I mean, it's rather simple. If you aren't willing to spend turbine points, you need to run quests to acquire things to trade for. Um, and ideally, you want to run as many fiery peaks and different raids, um, so that you'll eventually not not only be able to craft the most um, well, the most powerful weapons in the game, but you can also trade the extra ingredients that you have. Um, some good choices are um, Giant Hold Epic Elites, um, and especially Giant Hold Tour. Um, uh, obviously, haunted also haunted holds uh, for Evening Star and uh, Storm Horns, and these are your best bets if you want to acquire um, uh, some I some items, epic items that you can trade for. Um, well, if we look at... Um, oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, if you look at Black Helms, I mean, look at the prices here. This is pretty decent. And the thing is, these cannot be duplicated or anything. So this is like um, a certain value I mean you know if you get those things you can be sure that you're going to be able to trade so you probably the best thing is um, con 
I mean, let's look at this one that's worth um, 1,000. Well, it's plus 3 strength. I would go for con or strength. You know, better is probably insightful, but if you... Even plus 8 is pretty pretty nice. And the Epic Heart and Epic Elite versions have literally no difference because the, you can still slot, um, you know, the, the same kind of thing. So, I mean, if you get an Epic Heart one, it's it's you don't have to run Epic Elite to get them... Um, those uh, those items they will sell at pretty much the same price so I think your best bet is to run for items uh, so I already said it said it but uh, you know I'll repeat myself so giant hole tour uh, giant hole quests um, on epic elite uh, storm horns have a lot of good loot um, and haunted holes and all of these are really easy to run you can find groups for them pretty easily and you can be sure that you know this is going to be pretty good for um, trading um, because you cannot really just farm for um, random generated items you just have to run epic elite uh, quest constantly and then you just end up uh, grabbing something like for example i was just running um, a two-man fire peaks with Zestra for fun earlier just a bit normal for speed um, and i looted this which is a clever um, plus 10 a class of spell side plus 19 which is really good because spell crowd is exactly what you would want on a, on a, on a caster on a wizard so this is um, a great combination you know if it was like of listening plus 19 it's worth left literally um, but this is worth quite a bit so I mean quite a bit is quite subjective um, uh, quite objective sorry but I mean you know it's it acquiring those items uh, allows you to get richer um, and then the thing is, you, you can also use uh, I mean, your guildies. I mean, I, I literally don't post anything or farm to get rich because I have everything that I need. And, and well, the, you know, the, the, the target, um, uh, the people that you should target to sell stuff to is people that are not, not in between you know like super geared and on the process of uh, it's pretty much people that are on the process of getting the gear and they want to acquire their stuff fast and these are the people that are ready to pay quite a bit to get what they want fast all right so all that i've said is really just basic advice that most people already know so let's just um move on to the rather interesting part and that's ideas on well just ideas so well first um whenever you, you have sell you have to sell what you looted sell it in evening star i mean this is like crucial um like they have the best prices and if you run a lot of content like if you're leveling uh, you just get your inventory like full like after like a five six quest um and then you know instead of just selling it randomly to um a regular vendor go to evening star and sell it there because it's by far the best way to get quick platinum i mean if you do that and if you run stuff constantly you will not have to worry about getting rich in terms of platinum you will just have to worry about astral shards and and just running stuff you know just it's simple but just running stuff allows you to get rich it's that simple now there are better ways to you know to make money faster um so second, have a Heigl item laying around, um, so you just equip it when you go sell or restock on potions or scrolls. Same, just cast a GH on yourself if you're going to sell. Um, you know, every little thing makes a difference, and if you have that option available to you, m even make a Heigl bard to sell at the best prices. If you don't know what Heigl does, just look into them. To your skill, it allows you to get better prices at vendors, um, and. I must be blind. Um, so yeah, if you look at the details, um, every point in Agile is uh, an extra 0 0.5 uh, price uh, extra. So it's uh, it's quite nice. Um, then another tip or idea is that um, post the most uh, you know um, post the most ex expensive stuff on the short exchange slightly lower than the currently cheapest version. Um, like for example, if um, uh, we looked at the black helms earlier, and obviously, if you have that same helm, you're not gonna want to put it at 400 astral shorts because it's just not gonna sell. What you want to do though is put it slightly lower, so you still um, so y you get 
to be the most attractive price and that's a that's an idea um, and then you always want to keep an eye for those random loot generated um, um, items like I'll give you a couple of good combinations to give you an idea but um, like plus 10 stat of dodge 10% or plus 10 stat with plus 20 spellcraft or heal or repair skills um, plus 10 stat of resistance or even um, better like deadly 10 of resistance 10, 10 rings or necklaces I mean those are really great combinations and those you can sell for quite a bit of money um, so I mean look for those items um, when you loot but also in the auction house I mean you will be amazed at the amount of people who just put good stuff really cheap because they haven't realized how good the combination on the item is. I mean, I often buy cheap in the auction house and sell for a better price in the Astroshot Exchange. I mean, it's um, it's true if you just uh, look around and um, I'll just go for um, plus 10. No, let's do um, plus 10. Oh, I'm stupid. It's clever. Um, so this is quite worthless. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, well, it's really not not worth that much. Um, well, this is completely useless. I mean, if accuracy, that is useless. You know, um, this on the other hand is worth quite a bit, and the guy that posted it knows it. You know, and see, I mean, 400 astro shots is completely madness. Um, this is a l much you know much better price, um, much more reasonable. Uh, but you can still find well let's see like st sustenance here that's another good combination but it would probably be the better on wise plus 10 of sustenance plus 20 so see this is a um, see I was telling you earlier that uh, that was a good combination well I posted the same one a lot cheaper because I think that's a reasonable price um, but see these are good combinations and sometimes people don't realize it so I mean, sometimes people will put something like this or um, like this, like for like eight shards because it just doesn't know it's it doesn't really know what spell side does or whatever. I mean, it, maybe he plays a melee or something and doesn't know, and you just buy it and just put it at a better price. And um, yeah, and another thing too, if there's like ten times this you know, 10 times a clever of uh, necklace of spell side 19, just don't post it, put it in the bank when wait for a better time, because it's, there's no point, the more items there are, the, che the you know, the lower the prices get, so, um, yeah, and finally, don't, under uh, don't underestimate um, advertising, as you can, as you can do so, like on the forums, um, in-game, through the trade channel, um, and, well, for example, I have a second account that serves me as a bank um, and I will sometimes advertise through that second account in the marketplace while I play on my main account, well, let's say I'm, like, I'm in a quest, I'm waiting for someone, I switch to that other account, I put something like, I don't know, I'm looking for this or I'm selling that or I'm you know, trading for something and that you know it's this is those are just ideas you know i hope they prove to be you know um, useful and if you have like any questions um you can ask me in the comments um uh, below or you know i'm just letting you know i created um, a facebook um, um a facebook uh just looking for something really key. Uh, i created a facebook page uh that's called sift video and basically whenever I release a video I just um, go and put it there and you know that's a good way if you're on Facebook to uh, you know know when I'm uh, throwing some new stuff and you can also ask me questions there because I'm probably gonna be a lot more um, reactive over there so these are the vendors that you want to sell you know just go one to you just make a little circle and every time every day when you run stuff you just come here sell your stuff and you'll see you'll be you know, quite rich in terms of platinum um, easily. Alright, well, thanks for watching and leave a, a like if you <laughs> enjoyed it and uh, subscribe if, um, if you want. Thanks for watching again. See you.